Hey guys, I'm Niki from Germany and today I'm here at the Kilter Barn, the Kilter headquarter, visiting uh, Jackie and Ian, good friends of mine, and they asked me to set a boulder problem. I did not pick any Kilter holes, I picked Urban Plastics by Pete because he's a lovely guy and he gave me good recommendations for New York City restaurants, so hit him up if you need any food recommendations. And uh, we set a boulder problem, or I set a boulder problem. Let me talk you through it, how I approach setting a boulder problem. Okay, let's get into it. So when I set a boulder problem, I start with a rough draft template. And this one is a one mover. I'm trying to create a flag, which would do like this. So what we need, we have a starting position, end position, and the move in between. Starting position, I usually, I love a comfy starting position which means comfortable. You start with two side poles, or at least like most of the times like two poles and not too close together. If you have only one hole, like one jerk, like look, you stay there and like this works as well. Like especially for a jump. If we have just one hold, but then it's a little bit like a T-Rex. So I prefer to have like some distance in between those two holes. Distance between holes creates movement. Okay, two side poles. Works fine, good dual takes, compy jugs. Compy starting position also means for me having two footholds. <clears throat> Offers stability, two footholds. Offers stability, direction, and a little bit of guidance. Because with the one you launch, and over the other one you stand up and launch over. Now we're going talking about the direction. I want to have like some sideways movement for a flag, so you're some people call it scorpion kick, so your feet may maybe fly out a little bit. Let's see how much action we can do here. So we cross over, hopefully. Um, and so because of this, like the crossover, the right hand needs to be a little bit lower. If this one is a little bit higher, we could match or whatsoever, or just move with the right hand. We will play around with the uh, position of the footholds a little bit later, because I think this needs to be here needs to be like the launching foothold needs to be comfortable but also quite high so you can launch explosive and go high. I, I think maybe it's a little bit too steep maybe we have to get it further away from the wall. Anyway, flag. You cross over and we need a hold on the volume. Uh, usually I put the holes onto the volume on the floor on the ground see how they feel and then put it on the panel same angle so I'm able to feel how the holes feel really close to the ground. And then after this, I put it on the wall. If this hold is not good enough or too good, you see me uh, preparing different other <clears throat> angles. So this one is more slopey, for example, to make it a little bit more difficult. This one is more in-cut, but on the other hand, it's deeper in-cut. So you need to move a longer way with your fingers until you reach like the good holding position. So I usually try to prepare all the holes beforehand and have a feel and I'm looking for a functional set, which means same shapes, same samesies, but different kind of, not different grip options, but different like uh, levels of grip options. Mm -hmm. This one is slightly better than this. And the one we're having right there, it's really good on the lip. <clears throat> so we cross over, we have the dynamic movement, dynamic movement uh, to keep it not length dependent always happens horizontal better than vertical because if you do a dynamic move vertical if you're taller you reach it earlier uh, horizontal you might reach it earlier but to get into the same st stable position it's for all sizes same same but different uh, if you have more questions about it send me a message on Instagram or YouTube um, so we got this with our left hand, hopefully, and then we need something to stop the momentum. So we kind of slam down onto this one. If the volume is not good enough, we have different options of holes, uh, jibs, screw-ons, whatsoever, just to put it on there. Uh, I hope that the volume is enough because then it offers like the same angle for every body type and every body height. And now uh, we have to warm up. It's freezing cold over here in Colorado. It's probably something like 10 degrees Celsius. So that's cold for me. I need to warm up a little bit so I don't break my arms. And uh, we will just have a feel for the first move. Because I may need to rearrange and tweak some of the first moves. So it doesn't make any sense to, send, uh, to set the rest of the bowler. 
uh, because I need to adjust the rest of the bowler accordingly to the track smooth. Right. <coughs> so I do a quick test how it feels and because it's a little bit cold and I'm really uh, lazy I do it in my Birkenstocks what you shouldn't do <laughs> normally but I need to warm up a little bit like to, to pull to get the lead out of the way See, I can reach it if I pull really hard, I kind of uh, kind of don't like it right now because I have to pull a little bit too hard. Yep. We will just add a second option. If everything goes perfect, I want you to be able to reach the left hand while your right foot is still on here. Yeah. And then just the direction of the movement forces you to release it or to lose this one and to move into the palm position. Whoa! It's super steep. Like it's not super steep, but you feel that my body is launching off the ball like quite big, like quite fast, quick, not big. And I don't have any chance to move over there. So this is a problem. <laughs> it's like really hidden, really far behind the behind the edge, so I don't see it, which I don't like. So I probably will change this hold again. Yeah. The starting position. Ah, it's not as smooth as I wanted it to be. So I'm looking for another plywood one to get this one further out. Yeah. I'll do this one first. Because if the launching is a little bit easier, and a little bit more comfy, like you could send this move. Like if I if I really if I climb better or like concentrate, no, I could do this move. But I want to make it a little bit easier, a little bit more fluffy. Uh, yeah, a little bit less pizzazz. And like this, it sticks way further out. Right, and we will see whether this one works or not. Should at some point. Uh. <coughs> so here, maybe from the hey. other angle, yeah. I used just two screw-ons, which is maybe not the best way to attach these holes to the wall. I just do now for pre-placement, and later we could take a look around. It would be way better if we had this a uh, hole with this leverage on a T nut. So if the whole boulder problem works, but I'm too lazy now to shift the volumes. If the whole boulder problem works and this is a commercial gym, I would move this one into this T-nut. Yep. Just 10 to the right and move everything 10 to the right. Yep. Safety first. Usually. Oh, it works. So you see with this one, because yeah. it's protruding, right? That's the word. Yeah, protruding is perfect. Apex. <laughs> So with this one, because it's way more protruding, I can stand on it a little bit longer and now I can reach way further behind it while my body is still like in a stable position, controlled position, like the lower part of my body. Right. And now we got, can work on the landing position. But finding like the perfect position to end up after a move. Yeah. It should never be about like I can't move because it's too powerful. Too crimpy, it should be more like the complexity of a move should be like, okay, I can reach it, but what do I have to do now? I have, have to arrive like in a perfect position. This arm, uh, or in general, arms weak, stronger. Like the more you bend this angle, like the, the smaller this angle is, the more control and stability you have in your shoulders and your elbows. Yeah. So we want to reach this, pull hard, and then slam down and palm down. Yep. And so we will do it a few times. Reaching this one is uh, better now, and now we have to adjust this one because it felt a little bit more like WWE Smackdown. Bam! Yeah. Sometimes I like the sound, sometimes I want to have it a little bit more gentle. So if we want to have it more gentle, we might add another jib screw on. Yeah. Let's give it another try. So I want to have like a combination of this side pole moving me into directional hold which stops the momentum over there but also lifts me up a little bit higher okay so if this one for example or we take another really directional hold if the volume was angled like this you could only apply, apply pressure from the left side 
So the height would only come with the left arm. But I want to have a combination of directional, horizontal, yeah. and because it's angled like this, I hopefully can also push a little bit higher to get my shoulder into the stable position. Yep. Yeah. Still have some problems to get around. So I still have to find the sweet spot. <laughs> I will make it really easy now. That's just three centimeters of tweaking. Yep. Small. And if you want to learn how to set a move, my advice is only tweak one thing at the time. You always got four points, two feet, two arms, sometimes a head, head jam. But uh, only tweak one thing at the time. If I tweak this, so I rotate this, and I move this one around, and then suddenly the move happens, then I don't know. Is it like the tweak with the volume, or is it uh. the tweak of the hold? Kind of worked. Yeah. But you see, like, I, I reach it like this, and then because I'm weak, probably not warmed up, or maybe it's because it's a little bit too difficult, my arm goes, my arm stretches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got the move, but it's more like, ah, uh, so I feel it here in my arm now. Mm. So maybe, so that's how the move works. Move is done, now I want to tweak it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I will, I don't know where I touched it. I touch it here, here. I will put a hold on to this one and see whether it makes a real difference or whether I don't know what, what I'm doing here. Yeah. This one would work as well. It doesn't look as nice. But this one is a triangle on a triangle. Which looks always nice. Oh, dual text! That was cool. Uh, this was, arm was, was better. That was, was way better. Nice. Yeah. It gives you Stability, orientation, guidance as well. Like yeah. once you have it, there's no other way than up. Like it says, yeah. it's open plastics, right? But <laughs> the abbreviation is up. So you push, go into a stable position, done. Nice. Uh, for this move, in general, I think uh, if we want to. Oh, now it gets philo philosophical. Like. Uh, we could talk about this for ages. Do we want to force the move? Do we want to encourage climbers just to discover the move? Uh, I want to encourage climbers, take them on a journey to discover the move. I think you could break it. If you're like really powerful, really you explosive, could you could go with both hands or only one, the right hand. Yeah. And then maybe smash your foot up here. Yeah. Uh, let's try that. Maybe yeah. I die. Maybe not. Yeah, or a rough like layout template. Yeah. Like you could make this one worse so you cannot span it anymore. Yep. Just like the template to get me into the move to find out the position. You could move this one way lower so the distance is too far. But then it can be, stay a good hold. Could be like a really bad hold facing to this, to the right. Yeah, so it's a bunch can't of span it. Um, But we gotta see whether we can kick it. Okay, now I need to move with my right hand. Woo! That's also cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So this happens a lot if you set, try to set a flag move like a little bit horizontal and the hold is just too good. But is it a bad thing? Is it a good thing? Uh, I think it encourages people, climbers, to discover new dynamic movements. It's same, same difficulty, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you want to force it, <coughs> I think this one could move like further to the right. This one could also move further in, mm. so you don't have the space-time continuum to think about kicking it. Yeah. And this would also be already a little bit difficult to kick on if you're really tall. Yep. We could also take, if we really want to force it, take this one off, because then it's really bad for the foot, because yep. you could slide off. Uh, really? Now that's it. Now you just get together with your team, you need a headsetter who is able to tell you what he or she wants, like which difficulty, what kind of style. This is just a rough template. This one can move lower to make it a little bit more powerful and burly. So yep. you, it adds a little bit of extra spice for the, for the difficulty. Yeah, we talked about this one. 
this one could be if it's like <clears throat> uh, textured could be also only the volume mm. yeah this one could become smaller uh, could be on the lip could be everything I think if we really have to if we really want to force a flag it should be like we have those two directional lines and it's a little bit better to force a flag if it's like in one line yeah so we could also like start somewhere here with the side pull and then push and go into like a side under cling pull yep so we start pulling and then go into pushing in one movement cool. that's another way it works it's a little bit too difficult for me but uh, yeah yeah just play around with it and it's always like the horizontal distances which are really interesting Let's see whether I can still climb it <laughs> nice. So this set I've never set with before and I was uh, looking into like the tapered function because what I think is pretty cool is like that you have like one really good side and one it's not really really bad it's slightly tapered off it could be way smoother but like this you can still stand on it so I was adding like handholds which work as a combination together like side pulls and yeah that's what I did and then you have to step slowly onto these slopey features and I think that makes gives you a good feeling yeah and they've got like little bits of like texture it's not like a good handhold but yeah. enough that you can walk up yeah yeah that was uh, the, the core that was uh, the whole core idea behind this block and uh, yeah creating like a rail like this always works if you want to make it more like really difficult then you don't add side pulls up there, then you add side pulls here. So it's like really, you have to apply more pressure onto the feet and like walk close or like bunch yeah. over the rail. All right. So easy peasy dynamic bowler. It's not that easy, but it's only complex, and once you find the right body position, it's doable. Um, really important is like once you step onto this one, once you are in the higher position, push, push, with your hands, you have to tilt. Let's do it like this. You step on it like this, then you have to tilt and rotate your foot like this, so your hip is further away from the wall, mm -hmm. and you can kind of like bump your right foot onto this one. Mm -hmm. And if your hip is too close to the wall and your foot is still like this, you cannot really move your right foot up here. Maybe Akio can, I can't. I had different options here. Before, this one has like a, do you see that? This one has mm -hmm. a kind of a lip. And first I had this one. And this one is an end boss. Like you see the same angle. It doesn't really have a lip. Yep. So it's way more friction dependent. I think you still could do that because with this one and the right handhold, you can apply pressure and push, push and stand up on it if you want to make it more difficult. So same position, same move, just a little bit more difficult with uh, tweaking the footholds. Then another tweaking, then another tweaking option would be to make this one worse. Right now you're standing kind of wobbly, but still stable, has an edge, has an edge latch to it. I tried this one as well. Cool. And this one would work as well because you can put your foot on it, but you cannot apply pressure. You can only apply pressure once you move over to the right uh, side pull. And then you have to start pulling really quick to apply more pressure, not only sideways, but also to stand up. It was a little bit too scary for me, but if someone wants to do it, uh, yeah, you know the set, it's a vertical ball, buy the set and uh, try it out on your own. That's it. If you have any more questions, hit me up and uh, have fun. Bolan and Karate. Nikki out. Bye bye. If I flare these, so when I make a pinch, then then you get these upside down, slightly under. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got the sides up. Exactly. Yeah.